I am absolutely sure that I have never, ever regretted my career choice. I always wanted to become a doctor. I always wanted to become a GP. And I've now spent 33 years in Corby providing care to my patients. It's been an absolute ball and great fun. The most rewarding aspect of this work is the long-term relationships that you build up with your patients. I look after grandparents, parents, children, grandchildren, and sometimes great-grandchildren. It's a really exciting time to get into general practice, and especially in Northamptonshire, because you know we're able to offer community-based clinics for GPs who want to have more of a portfolio career. So one of my partners is just about to train up as a GP of special interest in ophthalmology. There's others that do dermatology, gastroenterology, you know, pretty much all of the ologies you want to say. We're trying to enable lots of ways for GPs in Northamptonshire to, to have other feathers in their caps and, and do other things. So uh, we've got uh, four really good federations now. So we're piloting this to put health navigators into practices to try and redirect patients who have social problems or financial problems, um, or they just want health promotion advice. We're putting in citizens advice bureaus into some practices and, and just lots of other schemes like, you know, similar to that. I think general practice is going to change over the next few years and the way in which we will work will also change, which means there'll be far more of the diagnostic kit that you now associate with hospital present in general practice. Over the past decade, we developed Lakeside to become a, a very large practice in developing services and facilities uh, on this site. And I, as a GP, can organise an X-ray, ultrasound downstairs, and through the urgent care centre, we have a combination of um, blood tests that can be done, which are of hospital standard. The vast majority of GPs are working in reasonably large practices of six or seven partners, including all the salary doctors and support staff that they need. Um, and most of the practices in Northamptonshire have, have joined together through organisations called federations, which means that you'll be working uh, across practices, across organisations, providing care for your patients. And one of the GP's got a really ex exciting time at the moment. Things are constantly changing. That is really illustrated here in Northamptonshire. Lots of practices are federating, which means that GPs are now having more control over how they work and what services they offer to their patients. I've got a great team that work around me. Everyone's striving for the common goal, which is actually offering the best service to our patients. What we offer most of our doctors in this practice is something we call a portfolio career in general practice. And what that means to 20 out of our 26 partners is they only spend part of their time in face-to-face -face general practice work. And the rest of the time they spend other roles. For example, we have a partner who works as a skin specialist. We have partners who spend a lot of time teaching and training medical students, young doctors and registrars. And all this adds spice and variety to people's careers as a general practitioner. I started off, I was a GP five days um, a week and that, that's changed over time as my skills have developed. So as well as doing the things in the surgery, like the, the procedures and the minor ops, I do other things. I also help uh, trained medical students. One of the reasons probably why I stayed is I quickly realised that all seven other partners here had different elements to the, you know, their skills. So there was one partner who worked also as a forensic medical examiner. There was um, another partner who did a lot of joint injections, orthopaedics. Another one was a specialist in diabetes. And so I think that skill mix and the variety in what they did it kind of inspired me to sort of expand my horizons. One of the major advantages of being a GP is you always find out what happens next. Um, I used to find that when I worked in hospital um, that I would often be frustrated in not knowing what the outcome of the investigations were that I had requested. You very much work as part of a team. Uh, we work very closely with the nurses um, within our practice and we also work very closely with our community teams and there are lots of opportunities to meet, to discuss patient care. There are lots of options. Don't think that you're going to be stuck behind a desk seeing patients all day. General practice provides a fantastic basis for having a portfolio career. But sometimes it's difficult to know where to start. So we're offering GP fellowships and a number of these are available in Northamptonshire. This gives you the opportunity to work part-time in the practice while you're developing an interest or skill. So we as a practice train uh, between five and ten 
uh, young GPs every year. The vast majority of those doctors would want to work locally because that's where they have their networks and routes. And also because general practice is of a remarkably high standard in Northamptonshire. I speak to colleagues who work in other parts of the country where uh, they aspire to do some of the things that we've been doing for quite a long period of time. Um, why a career in Northamptonshire? Um, great county, good road links, good rail links to everywhere, great housing and inexpensive housing, good schools, great facilities, and above all, a population that you can grow with and become part of. I discovered it was a county of green fields and thatched cottages. I think that's the time I fell in love with Northamptonshire and thought this was the place that I'd like to practice medicine and bring up a family. Well, lots of my colleagues do lots of sports. There's, there's lots of cycling around and a lot of our GP colleagues have joined the local cycling groups and cycling teams. And, and it always amazes me the fact that they, they come in after they've done a 100 kilometre run first thing in the morning time in the summer. But my passion is golf. I'm not a great golfer. Uh, uh, I enjoy going around a golf course. And there are lots of brilliant golf courses in Northamptonshire. Um, lived in this house and, and in Northamptonshire for the last 10 years finally getting it to the sort of house that we want to live in. Uh, we came to Northamptonshire because my husband got a consultant's job here um, and it was close to family and it was an area that uh, we wanted to live in. We wanted to live in a village so that we could have countryside around us um, and enjoy living outside a, a town or a city. Living in a village and shopping in market towns is actually extremely um, convenient. It's a slightly different way of life. Um, and uh, we enjoy very much living in an old house in an old village. I think I enjoy the scenery. Um, I enjoy the ability to um, get out into the countryside. Which I like um, the friendliness of um, living in a village um, and talking to people in the village shop. I mean, Northamptonshire to me has some amazing things. I trained in London, so I've experienced the big city, the, the working in a city hospital bit. I was there for six, seven years. I then, you know, moved up north, as my friends in London called it, and, you know, settled around here. Northamptonshire has a variety. You drive a short distance and you experience something different. I've got two young boys who just love being out, so most of the time we're out either cycling or walking around the woods. There's some amazing parks around here with adventure playgrounds and, and they, they love doing things like that. So it's just, it's exploring. I love going out on um, early morning cycle rides when the roads are a bit emptier and around here there's so many beautiful villages. I've done the commutes where you're spending two hours travelling to work and then, um, you know, two hours at the end of the day getting back home. And by the time you get home, that's the day gone. Now I have half an hour travel time. I get home, I'm home in time to help put my kids to bed, I can read them a story. I'm, I'm very happy here. I don't see myself leaving here now. Um, I enjoy my work, I love where I work. Living in Northamptonshire, there's multiple things that are really, really, really good about the area. You've got a mix of town and also country. So there's the, the university that seems to be ever growing. The town centre itself seems to have bars and uh, things that seem to pop up every Every other week I seem to notice there's a new place to go or a new place to eat. I think what even more attractive for me is that five minute drive outside the centre of town is you're, you're suddenly engulfed in really glorious countryside. Plenty of sleepy villages, lovely little pubs and places to go for sort of country walks. You've got top flight rugby, cricket and football really, really locally. So if you, if you like your rugby, you've got the Saints here and just our big rivals, the Tigers, just up the road on the M1. And then with your football locally, you've got the League Two club, the Cobblers. And then again, top flight Premier League football just up the road on, on, in Leicester. The cost of living is, is vastly different to the big cities with um, houses costing much less. And I think that's one thing that made me uh, quite attracted to Northampton because I was get, able to get on the, the housing ladder a lot earlier than some of my other doctor colleagues. In this area there's lots of Ofsted rated outstanding uh, primary schools both in the town and also in the, in the surrounding villages. If, if secondary schools are what you're looking, at, looking for there is a good mix of both private schools in the area and, and good quality state schools as well. Um, I chose uh, sort of Northamptonshire because my um, husband works in London um, and it's a commutable area. It's an hour, exactly an hour, to St Pancras on the train. Um, it's easy commuting and it's also much cheaper to live in Northamptonshire than it is in London. I think um, you know Northampton from a nightlife point of view 
you know, it's fairly active, it's got cinemas, you know, the Derngate Theatre's good, I've been to Derngate quite a few times, I definitely recommend anyone going to that. The university here is quite, quite busy, it's doing quite well, it's quite an old town, there's a bit of history to it. The um, countryside around is great, there's loads of great pubs um, where you can just go and you know, have a great time with friends. The local schools around the area are you know, really nice. Um, you, you know, it's a safe place, there's low crime. The house prices are really affordable, so it's not you can get, you know, a nice house, four bedrooms, a garden, for probably half the price you can get in London. Well, I think I'm very lucky to live in Northamptonshire. It's a beautiful bit of countryside, uh, lots of leisure in the area. And uh, where I live, I'm just by Pittsburgh Reservoir, and I enjoy cycling around the area, cycling around the reservoir, and enjoying the countryside. It's like being on holiday all the time. I think um, Northamptonshire is probably one of England's best kept secrets. I didn't know anything about Northamptonshire before I came here and um, it's a fantastic place and we've got some small country towns which have low population densities so uh, there's not a lot of traffic even at rush hour. Northampton has the largest surface reservoir in England at Pittsford. Lots of people walk and cycle around the area. Horse riding is a big activity and we have um, lots of beautiful country pubs with fire indoor fireplaces, highly regarded restaurants and um, lovely places to visit. We have several theatres in Northamptonshire. There's the Cube at Corby and the Castle at Wellingborough who attract great names. Like many people in Northamptonshire, it hadn't been a plan to come here. Um, I drifted in, there was a job, I liked the look of it. Um, it was a very well set up area for general practice and like so many people I never left and I would never want to leave now.